Hey everybody, Jim Johnson here, the head coach at Contractor Coach Pro with a special edition of the Contractor's Training Room. Uh, we're bringing this to you on Friday because uh, Friday is the day that a lot of us as contractors kind of have some time, hopefully, uh, with a situation where you have kind of got your week behind you and you're kind of making decisions on, hey, what are the best things for my business? We have a special guest with us today. Her name is April Hall. She is with the SRC Summit and Storm Restoration Consultants, or Storm Consultants, LLC, right? And president. Of <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Uh, welcome, Blake, <laughs> yeah. for uh, joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. Happy Friday, everybody. Yeah, happy Friday. I, I don't usually do these on Friday, like Friday afternoons are like my time to like uh -huh. actually get some work done, but this is work. I'm, I'm going to be speaking at your event and I'm super excited about that. This is like my third or fourth year in a row of, of speaking at your event <laughs> and uh, I get to be one of the keynote people. So that's really cool. I got a, a cool plan of uh, what I want to talk about with folks. I think it'll be something that they can take back and really apply to their business and their team. We got a lot of cool speakers, a lot of cool stuff. But before we get to that, let's let's talk about April a little bit. April, you've been at this a little while sure. now, and uh, you, you yes, know, for a while. Conference and events. Those of you that don't know April, April is uh, uh, she's been around like not like in a bad way, in a good way. Like ten years, she's <laughs> been, she's been hanging out in our industry. She's helped put on yeah. dozens of events, whether they be classes, courses, these bigger conference style events. And uh, I've had the fortunate opportunity to work with her on most of those. Like been able to like help her, you know, yeah. in these there and speak and stuff like that. And I thought it'd be cool to kind of talk to her about like. What's the hardest thing about putting an event together? Oh, wow. Where do I start? <laughs> uh, there's just a lot <laughs> for this particular one. I mean, there are so many moving parts. You know, we have the full vendor trade show, show. So you're dealing with, you know, putting sponsors together, um, the whole setup of that. Um, speakers, you know, for this particular one, there's over 30 speakers. So just to get everybody in line for that is another task on its own, right? <laughs> um, just from the planning of putting it from, the venue to organizing the event, the stuff before you even get to the attendees to start promoting it is, you know, months and months of work on it, you know, in itself. So lots of planning, um, got to be very well organized as well. That's so. why you're so much better at conferences than I am. You're a better planner. Uh, is that's, that's <laughs> not my, my forte. I, I have a great team here that does that. Uh, but mm -hmm. you guys do an amazing job. You really do. Like everybody I've ever talked well, to thanks. has been like, hey, what a great process that goes pretty well. So mm -hmm. um, how many years is this now for this particular event, the Storm Restoration Summit? So this one started back in 2013. It was a one-day event. Um, it was the Insurance Restoration um, Contractor Summit, IRC, back then. Um, mm -hmm. Gosh, that was started out for like 100-something people one day, and then it grew to – several hundred and it did two into a three-day event so um, it's definitely come a long way it's I rebranded it last year from IRC to SRC Summit so yeah it was great we had a fantastic time I got to like throw passes with Roger Staub I got to listen to him speak who's the keynote this year like the main like wow that guy's cool mm -hmm. I can't wait to hear him well John Hutailing is the main keynote so he is um going to be talking about quite a few new things that are happening in the industry. He's also an entrepreneur. I don't know if you happened to see my Facebook page the other day, but he's been working on a multi-billion dollar deal with China. Um, he, he's the CEO of American Ethane, so attorney, um, also entrepreneur, but he's going to be sharing the four contractor traps and how to avoid them. So these are new things handed down from the insurance companies that even the most experienced contractors may not know about. So we're gonna, he's going to show you what those are and really how to handle them so you don't get in trouble. So that's amazing because, you know, we want to make sure that we're abiding by the laws and doing things right in this industry with integrity and so we can have a long sustaining business. So I got an opportunity to see this. Like I was at another event this past week. Uh, it was really good. And I got to meet with John, talk with him a little bit about what he's bringing. This thing is amazing. It is like, uh, it is wow, we better pay attention as contractors. So good pull. Yes. Like that's an awesome uh, person to have mm -hmm. be the keynote. 
Uh, he's also involved with the APA. Uh, the APA is going to be oh, there. Yeah. Those folks are going to be there. Uh, it's the, the mm -hmm. ones that stick up for the little guy, uh, the homeowner that doesn't <laughs> really quite get everything that's going on. And, you know, mm -hmm. got this you know, $50,000 problem and they're fighting a billion, mm -hmm. billion, billion dollar industry. Uh, APA is yeah. standing behind them and helping them out with what they do. So we've got some of those folks coming as well, right? Yes, quite a few APA members are going to be speaking, a part of the event. Um, I'm on the board. I love the APA. I love what they do, what they stand for. Um, they're definitely taking off with this industry. So it's something that, you know, everyone should be involved with if they're looking with the same, you know, aspect of, hey, I want to do this, you know, buy by the laws, do things right, and hold people accountable when they're not doing the right things. <laughs> you know, Doug Quinn puts it really well. He, he's like, if mm -hmm. in any way, shape, form, mm -hmm. or fashion, you make a living from this industry that is insurance restoration, you almost have mm -hmm. a responsibility to join the APA. It's very affordable. Exactly. At, it's, it's about $1,000 a year uh, to be a mm -hmm. member of the APA, and your money goes yes. to actually fight criminal action. You know, like they're going after the insurance companies as criminals, not civil mm -hmm. suits and stuff like that to take forever. Like it's like, let's catch these yeah. guys at what they're doing with their bad face stuff. And I think that's awesome. Exactly. Uh, I've supported it mm -hmm. from the very beginning uh, through the catalyst group. <laughs> and now I just signed up as a member. Uh, so I know I just saw that. Yay. Welcome yeah. to the, to you the would tribe. Think it was a long time ago, right? <laughs> I know. I figured I was like, why is Jim Johnson not a member yet? So I, I literally, like I posted it. I was, I was, I was going to like drag you over the APA booth and be like, here you go. You need to sign up. <laughs> so uh, I'm vicariously a part of it. I helped Troy Clymer. He's one of the founding members mm -hmm. that was through the catalyst group. He's a board member. So that's how that all went. We, yeah. I, I was actually supposed to be there, got sick, sent Troy instead. And so uh, he's been handling that stuff. Thank goodness I got okay. sick. It seems like a lot of work. So <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Um, so with the SRC Summit, there's been lots of questions about it. Like, mm -hmm. how is it different than some of the other mm -hmm. um, uh, events that are out there? And one in particular, like the IRE, like that's the one I hear all the time. I've had lots of people yeah. reach out to me per, uh, personally. And, and don't mm -hmm. get me wrong, IRE is a great event, but why is the SRC yeah. something that you should definitely be at too? Well, they're two completely different events, you know. Um, I've gone to the IRE. I enjoy going to the IRE, but personally, uh, I go just to just to network and see the vendors and talk to the sponsors and, you know, just see people. Um, really, and when I talk with contractors, they pretty much tell me the same thing. That's, that's why they go to the IRE. It's like a week and a half after the SRC. So I think, you know, people should definitely go to both. But the SRC is really about the best business practices. And so I really pride myself on getting the best speakers to put on stage to give actionable content that you can use right away in your business processes just to streamline, help you streamline what you're already doing, make it better, um, increase your bottom line. I mean, some of the top topics that we're going to be going over are really designed by roofing contractors for roofing contractors because, I mean, I talk with you guys all the time and you tell me your pain points, your struggles, you tell me your wins, and that's how I design the SRC Summit. So it's really based on um, the top topics in the industry that contractors must know. So is it a high ROI event? Absolutely. Will it help your bottom line? Will it help you, um, you know, just work, have a better business process? Will it help you, you know, to set up a legacy? Yeah, we're going to be talking about a lot of things, but it's a very high ROI event. And hey, you should go to both, but it's completely different. You know, we're, we're, we're about the business side of the routine. Yeah. And, and so you, th that business aspect of what you do as a, as a entrepreneur and mm -hmm. as a contractor, super important. Um, the thing I think that's like really sets you apart, like unique, unique, mm -hmm. not just kind of unique. Yeah. Because there's some business classes and stuff like that. They're kind of boring at IRE, mm -hmm. but there's business. Classes. <laughs> no offense, IRE, yeah. we love you guys. Um, but uh, <laughs> um, it is really storm. I mean, it's called Storm Restoration Contractor Summit. Yeah. It's like, hey, we are going to network. We're going to meet. Mm -hmm. We're going to group think about, hey, how do we do what we do better? Yeah. And, and I can't wait to bring some of that, like this, this uh, mm -hmm. concept that we've got to step our game up. We really do. Like it's, it's right. one of those, we're as much of a problem as the insurance companies are until we realize that and do something about it to change this industry. Um, it's going to continue down the road that it's on and your 
conference makes those differences. Now, I just want to remind everybody that's like uh, on the webinar, paying attention, being a part of this, you guys that are on Facebook out there, if you've got questions for April about the SRC Summit, um, get them asked. If you hang out today at the end of it, we're going to give you a uh, coupon code to save some money, right, on the uh, entry, entry yes. to the event. Okay, awesome. And so, Make sure you ask your questions. Like if you're wondering if this is the right thing through your business, um, why should you attend this event? Uh, any question, anything at all, like where you're gonna stay and, and if you heard my dog in the background, I apologize. Uh, they are here, that we're, I'm at home, like I said, on a Friday. But uh, <laughs> April, you, you talked about going around and talking to contractors and I know you and I talk quite a bit as well. Mm -hmm. What's it like, I mean, don't take this the wrong way, but you're a very pretty young lady and uh, you, you are a, a, a woman in the kind of a man's industry. What's it, what's it mm -hmm. like? Like, are there pros to that? Is there cons to it? Is it just a weird deal? What is it like? Oh, that's a good question. Throw me for a loop on that one. <laughs> um, I, it's different because people look at me and they're like, so you're a woman, you deal with all these contractors. Yeah, I do. I mean, 95% or more are, you know, are, are male. They're going to be at the event. I have a lot more women this year. I'm super excited about that. And I'll, I'll tell you about it a little bit more here soon. But um, yeah, for the most part, if they don't know me or um, they, they don't really know much about the business, uh, a lot of times they, they like to test my knowledge to see what I know. And when I answer their questions, like, oh, okay, she does know what she's talking about. She <laughs> has been in this industry. <laughs> so I think, um, I think when you're a woman in a man's world, they tend to do that a little bit. So I guess, you know, maybe I just have to prove myself a little bit more to, um, you know, show that I have industry knowledge and that they can gain something from attending my events. Well, take my word from it, for it. She does. Like, I've talked with her about it, and she, she knows what's going on in our industry. She knows us. Uh, I'm sure her friends, yeah. like, look down on her, like, why do you work with a bunch of contractors and stuff? But uh, <laughs> we're not bad people. Um, and she deals with a lot of the same things, like, a female that sells in our industry would deal with from a homeowner. Like, they might open the door, but do they take them seriously once they do? Mm -hmm. And so... Uh, the the National Women in Roofing they're gonna they're gonna be here is that right or do we have a women's panel what's going yeah. on with that Yeah, I'm super excited about that. So I am part of NWIR Dallas. Um, I'm on I'm on the board um, for membership. So um, one of my goals when I first met this or I saw this I, I signed up for IRE a couple of years ago. I was like, oh my gosh, this is such a great organization. I want to bring more women into the industry so we can all network with each other, learn from each other, help one another. Um, you know you know, just, just help with confidence and dealing in this industry because it is male dominated, right? Well, guys, and yeah. so my, yeah, my, uh, my goal was really to bring more women in just for that. And NWIR really is uh, something that I believe in. So I do have a booth um, for NWIR. They're going to be at the event. So they'll be sponsoring there. I've given them a booth because um, I want to help grow membership. And that's not just the Dallas chapter, but nationally. So any women who are attending the event, um, they can sign up. It's only $60 a year. Um, my women's leadership panel, I'm super excited. Um, I've got some amazing women on there. Um, you know, Marsha Wright from Contractor oh, yeah. Magazine. I know Marcia really well. And Jill. <laughs> gonna, yep. And Jill, they're both going to be on. It's really cool. I um, met them a couple years ago and just, you know, we hit it off. We're women in the industry, so it's great that we're helping each other out. Um, we have quite a few on there. We should, can you pull up the website? <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll get there. We're actually, Braden, Braden will go, has mm -hmm. already posted the website on here. So guys can just hop on. It's on Facebook. Yeah. It's on the webinar. So they got that. Um, yes. So, so that's super awesome. I love Joe Bloom. Yeah, there's 10. Yeah, there's 10 of us total. So oh, wow. um, it's going to be a really good panel. I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> So, so Jill Bloom, one of my favorite people in the industry, one of mm -hmm. my best friends, her husband, Greg, also really good friends with mm -hmm. him. Um, she's done so much for this industry and it's cool to see mm -hmm. more women getting into it um, and not having that stigma, mm -hmm. right? Like, oh my goodness, it's just you know, yeah. a bunch of guys, contractors, redneck type thing. We got a question. Um, so <laughs> the question yeah. is, is this thing just for owners or is it for, you know, like managers, salespeople? Who's it for? 
Well, yeah, I mean, the, uh, what I typically see for these events is we get the majority of our owners and also um, general managers, but top salespeople. So this year I made it a little bit different and um, we do have quite a few more um, of everyone attending uh, with salespeople, especially on Saturday when we open it up. We haven't really got there yet, Jim, but I'm hosting a really cool thing to kick off the SRC. Um, 2020 is the year of the Summer Olympics, and so I want to incorporate that into the SRC. So the theme is going for gold in your business. So we have some of the top expert speakers from all over to help you achieve that status. But I wanted to do something super cool. So I'm hosting the first ever Roofing Olympics. And so uh, we're just going to be doing some different events to kick off the event on Saturday. Doors open at 1.30. Um, I know that you want to do the cornhole. Um, we've got cornhole going on. We've got um, ping pong, which, <laughs> which I'll be playing in. I can't wait. Um, that's an Olympic sport. Um, baseball, we have like a radar speed pitch test. Um, golf, a lot of people like to play golf. So we are, I have a really cool golf simulator. <laughs> uh, you can play any course in the United States on it, but for sake of time and for everyone to participate, we're going to be doing the longest drive. Uh, GAF is sponsoring a really cool thing. We have some makeshift roofs coming in. They have a brand new shingle that just came out and the SRC is the first to display it. Um, it's HGZ and um, we are going to be doing a contest, the fastest and most accurate to um, nail these new shingles down. And so what I'm doing is cash prizes anywhere from 200 to a thousand dollars and check this out. I'm going to do gold, silver, and bronze medals. Look at this medal. Huge. Wow. That's heavy. Intense. This is, yeah, a, now I'm, this you, is a gold medal. You hurt my feelings. <laughs> so one of the first things like people that haven't watched us before or listened to our podcast, um, they may not know this yet, but I tore my Achilles tendon uh, almost no. a month ago. It was 29 days ago to be exact. And one of the very first things I thought about, one of the very first things I thought about mm -hmm. is me and Brian Sorson playing beanbags and the long yes. drive and the baseball thing. Like oh, those were things I was planning on being involved in. And so I can't yeah. do the long drive, can't do the, uh, the baseball thing. But I think I might still be able to pull off the beanbag deal. So uh, I think you can do it. Yeah, I, I think you can. You like, okay, try. So knee up on a scooter. Is that like cheating or how does that work? So we're, <laughs> no. we're going to figure it out. I, I need to get there early so I can practice yeah. a little bit. Um, okay. Yeah. So, so that's open. So a lot of salespeople are, are doing it too, to, to be part of that. Um, just because it's fun. It's some team building this year. So I wanted to kick it off with something really fun. Now, um, the prize is anywhere from like 200 bucks to a thousand dollars. And so what I'm doing is I'm also taking that and I'm matching it to charity. And so my charity is the gatehouse. They're out of grapevine, um, with national women and roofing. We were earlier this year before Christmas, we donated well over a hundred coats got everybody together um, for that organization. But what they do is uh, they help women get back on their feet, whether they've been in a bad relationship and they had to get out because of abuse, uh, maybe if they're homeless, if they have children there. Um, so the Gatehouse really does help them um, get back to, on their feet, help them find jobs. Um, so that's what I'll be donating to. So yeah, it, it go back and answer your question. It's a lot of mostly owners, general managers, um, top salespeople, but with uh, the Roofing Olympics this year, it's bringing in a lot more people so we can um, all network together and learn from each other. So I'm super looking forward to it. <laughs> That'd be a yeah, great so every, Everybody's welcome, right? Like, and, and there is- Of always, course, yes. I've noticed there's always content for salespeople and really salespeople, mm -hmm. you know, they do their thing, they go and sell, but there's more to it than just selling. It's, it's growing in who you are, oh, yeah. uh, becoming leaders and things like that. And this is the type of place where you're going to get that kind of information. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, one of the things somebody's looking for the link for your SRC summit is srcsummit.com, right? Like it's that simple. Yeah. SRC, SRC, S U M M I T.com. All right. Cool. And everything's on the homepage. You just scroll down. It shows all the pictures, the roofing Olympics, um, prices, Everything's there. <laughs> so I, I usually ask a question up front, but I wanted to get to some of those other mm -hmm. topics that, uh, first, but uh, um, I always ask this one and I waited a little while. So I want to ask it to you mm -hmm. now, if that's okay with you. Of all the okay. things you've done, right? You, you, you've, you've been in our industry for quite a mm -hmm. while now. Mm -hmm. Of all the things you've done in your entire life, not including having children or family <laughs> stuff in any way, mm -hmm. What's the achievement you're most proud of? Hmm. That's a good one. 
<laughs> that you are most proud of. That's a great way uh, of saying it. Let me think about this for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Greatest achievement. Uh, probably more personal, um, but it has to do with business. And I would say um, really just the confidence to start all over again um, from scratch um, in this male-dominated industry. So a lot of people may or may not know, I went through a really terrible divorce. My ex-husband and I, you know, we, we were running this company together. So I was a majority owner and um, it was just a little bit difficult to go through because um, at the time I was like, do I keep doing this or not? And I really enjoy helping this industry succeed. I've had so many people, you know, call me and say, wow, you know, the, the events I want to change my life. And so there was a point where I was like, wow, do I keep doing this or not? Because are people going to recognize me with a new name? And, you know, I couldn't do the IRC for a couple of years. And I said, I'm going to do it. And I rebranded it. And, you know, just, it was me um, having to overcome and get some more confidence to step up and do it. So I guess that's my greatest achievement. <laughs> Well, so you, far. <laughs> you have done an amazing job. I, it, I think it's sometimes it's harder to come back from those kinds of things. Like this thing was going yeah. and we went through some mm -hmm. trials and tribulations, obviously. Yeah. Um, and to bring something back to life, there's a little bit of trust there that's got to be rebuilt back up. And you've done a fantastic mm -hmm. job of doing that, not just <laughs> with contractors, Thanks. but the vendors and, 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 and folks like yeah. me that we come to those things because we want to engage with contractors, help them get better at what they do. Mm -hmm. And your event has really become a, a, a really good place, like a great place to do that without all the extra like negative side of stuff, that, that, that dark side of the things yeah. that are in our industry. So that's been really cool. And I want to, I just want to say one more thing. Um, mm -hmm. I, I know I said, don't say this, but um, you've been a great mom. Like, <laughs> Yeah, you oh, and you. what you do with Andreas and, and how you mm -hmm. handle that on Facebook and sharing how that's going with you too. It's, a, mm -hmm. it's been a pleasure to watch. So we're, we're proud of you. Well, thanks. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's, it. it's been uh, pretty amazing. So um, I, got, I got a couple more questions over here. Can you let me get over here one second? So uh, what are some of the speakers? Like just a few of the speakers that you just off the top of your head, you're like, wow, I'm, I'm pretty excited to hear what these guys have to say. My topic, just so you know, is going to go very in line mm -hmm. with what you've got going because uh, it's all about uh, building champions. And so that's, that's what I'm going to yeah. talk about. So it's going to go right in line with your, uh, your uh, Olympics and gold medals and all that stuff. <laughs> awesome. I'm looking forward to it. Oh gosh, there's so many. I mean, we have a ton of excellent, excellent speakers. Um, Dale Childress, uh, Master Closer, he's going to be going over like the top 10 roof sale objections, how to overcome those, um, you know, when you're at the door. So, I mean, this is great for anybody yeah, in the industry, it. especially sales, the sales guys. I mean, he is the master closer. That's all he does. He doesn't do anything else. He just teaches you how to close more roof sales. So I'm excited to have him there. I've, I've never had him speak at an event before. I've been following him on Facebook for some time. So I think he's going to bring a lot of value. Um, Sam Struthers is another one. He, uh, last year he went through just at this, um, changes in, you know, reformatting his accounting process. So he, you know, he just really redid everything and made some changes and he's going to be sharing and revealing that accounting process. And so really his thing is like, don't make the mistakes that I made in, in the front. You know, I've learned how to do it the right way. And now I know my exact bottom dollar. So, um, in this industry, I see it a lot. Um, contractors, they, they say, oh, I'm profitable. This is exactly what it is. And by the time they actually do the math, it's, it's, it's way off. So <laughs> I think it's so important to know your profitability, know where you stand. Um, you know, when you don't account things for liabilities, such as, you know, commissions, um, warranties, things like that, that, that all affects your bottom line. So he's going to be talking about that. Um, that's something, you know, at other conferences, I don't, I've never seen that at another conference. So I like yeah. to bring things in that's needed for the industry that you can't get anywhere else. Um, you'll see some of the same speakers, but you know, um, you're not going to see what we're talking about at other conferences. So like I've got a $200 million commercial panel. I talk with contractors all the time and they ask, you know, ask me like, Hey, I'm doing this commercial that I, I really want to get into the commercial market more, but I don't know the first step of to do it. Um, so we're going to be discussing that. We're going to be discussing how to break into it, how to do more commercial work. Um, that seems to be a thing where contractors really want to go for. So um, that one's a great one. Um, there's so many. I mean, pull up srcsummit.com. There's over 30 industry expert speakers. 
Um, I'm excited to have Jim there. He always brings a lot of value. Um, marketing panel, Joseph Hughes, he's going to be speaking. He's also doing a marketing workshop the day of, right before the Roofing Olympics kicks off. So, I mean, there is just so much knowledge and information that you're going to learn at the SRC. Uh, the two things that contractors tell me after the event, they always say, wow, I had no idea I was going to learn that much. Uh, basically, like drinking from a fire hose, right? Um, but it's stuff that you can implement right away. So, I like to give really good content that can um, be used right away um, in your business. So that's a big thing. And then the second thing is they always say they really enjoy the networking. And so in past events, I've always done the networking portion at the end of the event. And that's why this year I'm like, well, I'm gonna just start it, help everybody break the ice with the vendor trade show and the roofing Olympics. And that way everybody knows each other from the beginning. And then it just makes up on events throughout. That's, that's awesome. So you, you mentioned something. It's like one of those things that like sticks in my craw about conferences and events and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. We all go to them. Like we've, yeah. I've been going to them for 22 years. Like it's crazy, right? <laughs> um, yeah. And, and one of the things that always drove me crazy about it was actually one of the reasons why we created Contractor Coach Pro is you go to the event and you hear all this information. It's mm -hmm. kind of like this fire hose of information and you come back to your office, you sit down and you're like, where do I start? Phone rings. <laughs> There's like this, this, mm -hmm. the world gets in the way. Do you have any advice for some of these guys, like how they might take notes or how they might goal plan, uh, game plan or goal set mm -hmm. for after the event? Um, you know, everybody has a different way of learning. Some are auditory, some like people like to write it down, some people like to read it. So I do provide everybody with a workbook and have um, all the speakers in orders where you can take notes right next to them. But also if you purchase the VIP and you like to watch things over again and listen and learn, um, I actually will record the entire conference. And so if you get VIP, you'll be able to have that as part of your package. So I have an online training portal. So after the fact, when the SRC is done, um, all the breaks and stuff are edited out, I'll put that on the online portal. So contractors can literally go back in and be like, hey, I wanted to hear what Jim had to say. I'm going to watch that again. Or I wanted to hear what um, Dale had to say. You know, you'll be able to go watch it again. So repetition definitely helps with learning. Um, but, you know, getting your notes and doing it right away as soon as you get back um, is the best way to, to implement. So, Awesome. That is great advice. Mm -hmm. Couldn't agree with you more. Uh, we, we, use, we use reinforcement. That's the word, like all the time. You take what we get, reinforce mm -hmm. it as often as possible. So um, mm -hmm. I'm a Texas contractor and I'm thinking about coming to you know, the SRC summit. Is there any like special value that applies? That's a setup question, just in case you guys didn't feel that coming. <laughs> Extra special value for the Texas yeah, like contractor, a, is that what you think? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Texas contractor. What about that RCAT thing? Oh, yes, RCAT. So if you are <laughs> licensed, thank you for bringing that up, Jim. There's so much stuff at the SRC. It's just a well full of knowledge. But um, if you are licensed through RCAT, RCAT's par partnered with the SRC Summit to offer CEU credit. So if you need to get your CEU credits for RCAT, you can get them at the SRC Summit. So you definitely want to make sure to take advantage of that and get signed up. You can get all eight hours you need for to keep your license <laughs> up to date at one event. Uh, I know mine's a CEU, <laughs> so you'll be good for that. I get those like at the end of every year, everybody sends me their CEU stuff and we sign off on them and send them back. So uh, yeah, it's super cool. Mm -hmm. So we've got all kinds of cash prizes. We've got a place for yeah. owners, managers, and salespeople. Mm -hmm. We've got Olympics. We got 30 plus speakers. <laughs> we have an awesome host in you um, putting this on. Mm -hmm. I'm super excited to come and speak at your conference. Um, and I've got one more question for you before we leave. Mm -hmm. It's always like a surprise question. If you watch my podcast, you know about this question, but if you don't, you have no <laughs> idea this question's coming. And so, uh, I asked you earlier, what's your greatest achievement to date? And you had a very good answer. So now put yourself in the shoes that uh, mm -hmm. you're looking down on us. All right. Like the, the, there was a casket and there was a funeral and all this stuff. And, and mm -hmm. all the people that love and care for you are walking past your casket. What do you want them to say about you as far as the impact that you had on them? Mm. Huh. <laughs> See why That's I a good question. I was ready for that one. <laughs> um, 
uh, really just that, um, you know, that I was passionate about helping people achieve success in the industry. And so, you know, I guess I could probably say, you know, I like Zig Ziglar a lot. And I, I one of his, my favorite quotes is, um, you can have everything in life that you want if you just help enough other people get what they want. And so I always really do um, love helping people succeed in this industry. And I love hearing back success stories. So I just want people to remember me as that somebody here to help. <laughs> You know that's that's a that's a pretty good thing to be remembered as. Uh, it's very mm-hmm. similar for me. It's a I was just here to help people achieve their dreams. That's what we're after. That's what we're trying to do, mm-hmm. and uh, hopefully we we do that. Help them understand that they they can re- literally be a champion, and that, that being a champion isn't mm-hmm. necessarily what you might think it is. And so I can't wait to share that yeah. with you guys and talk with you about that. But uh, there's none of us out there that can achieve what we want to achieve. We just put our mind to it. So, um, April, thanks. Really appreciate you having okay. you today. Uh, hope you enjoyed yourself in our in the contractors training room and hey. our podcast, Contractor <laughs> Radio. Um, you guys that are watching us, uh, share this along with other folks. Uh, they can join our uh, group on Facebook, the Contractor Training Room. You can follow us on pretty much any podcast thing like iTunes or. Stitcher or Google Podcasts, Spotify. Go look up Contractor Coach Pro, subscribe to it, and you'll catch all these things. If you happen to miss them, like you're busy or whatever, you can download them and listen to them while you're driving, working out. Uh, If you're bored, like you just say, hey, man, I got to learn all that contractor stuff. Uh, No, I'm just kidding. We usually have really good stuff. And once again, we did today with April. So it worked out really well. Thanks again, April. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I really enjoy doing this and I look forward to seeing everybody next weekend, the 25th to the 27th at the SRC Summit. I almost forgot something. We have a coupon code, right? Mm-hmm. That coupon, yeah. all you guys that hung out here and you're like, there's a bunch of you on, on the uh, webinar. There's a bunch of you on Facebook. It's a hundred bucks off, right? Yes. So it's hundred- um, The promo code is CCP, all in caps for contractor coach Pro. Um, so once you're on the website, srcsummit.com, there's, there's three different tickets on there. One's general VIP and then group rates. Um, this works on one to two people. It'll save you an additional hundred dollars. Once you hit three people, like the group rates are already discounted. You don't need any type of promo code. So the more you send, the more you save, but uh, yeah, use CCP all in caps. It'll save you an extra hundred dollars off with Jim's promo code. It's the only way you use those letters, CCP all in caps. So uh, yep. <laughs> thanks. that's really cool. Um, hopefully that'll help you guys. We hope to see you there. Um, I can't wait to meet you guys and come shake your hand mm-hmm. and please feel free to come shake my hand. Ask me anything you want to ask me. I, I usually talk too much. So uh, if you want to, if you want to know something, that's what I'm there for. We're there to help you guys uh, not just get the knowledge, but hopefully get after it and make those dreams a reality. Thank you very much, April. We'll uh, see you in a week. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Tim. See you then. Bye, everybody.